Welcome back, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Typhon wallet. This is going to be a full in-depth video, how to use the wallet. We're going to go through the process step by step, showing you several of the different features in this wallet. This is actually one that's made by members in the community, the same team that has brought us the Cardano Scan Blockchain Explorer. So it's very cool to see this wallet that they've created. We're taking a look here at their main page and some of the unique features about this wallet. So you'd be able to stake your ADA. You can do things like multi-delegation. So if you wanted to split up your wallet without having to create several different seed phrases, great way to help support decentralization. And you can even send transactions that include metadata straight from this user interface. So if you all do find some value from this video here today, please be sure to drop a like for me. If you want to stay up to date with more Cardano content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Now, jumping right into it, we're taking a look at the main page. When you go to typhonwallet.io, I will be sure to leave a link for you all down in the description. You can choose to access the Typhon wallet if you've already got the extension. This is a browser extension uh, and it's compatible with several different browsers, Chrome, Brave, and Microsoft Edge. I'm gonna be using Chrome for this video today. I've already went ahead and downloaded this extension. What that looks like essentially, it'll take you to the Chrome web store. Make sure that you are using the official link to get this browser extension, there are certainly scams out there. Now that we've downloaded this browser extension, we can go to our extensions, open the Typhon wallet, and we are greeted with how we would like to connect to a Cardano wallet. In this case, we're presented with the option to create a wallet, import an existing wallet using a 12, 15, or 24 word seed phrase, or we can even connect a hardware device such as Ledger or Trezor. Because this is a browser extension, using a hardware device is the most secure. I, in fact, do recommend that uh, in all cases in terms of storing any type of cryptocurrency. But for today's video, I'm going to show you the process step-by-step -step of creating a brand new wallet using Typhon Wallet and going through the process of delegating ADA. We'll go through the process of sending a transaction with metadata. We'll take a look at all the cool features of this wallet today. So I'm going to click on Create Wallet. And here I have the option of naming the wallet. I went ahead and typed in the wallet name, typed in my password and agreed to the terms and conditions. Now we can go ahead and click on continue. In this wallet, we have the ability to choose the length of the wallet seed phrase. We can choose between 12, 15 or 24 words for this wallet, uh, which is really cool. I'm gonna choose 12 in this case because I think that's gonna be a great way for us to be able to just keep things very simple. So you have the ability to choose whichever length you like. 15 is typically more common for a Yoroi wallet. Uh, so if you do have a Yoroi wallet and you'd like to also use Typhon, you can keep the same length and that's just gonna make things a little bit easier. 24 or 12 words is typically gonna be things like NAMI or Daedalus, CC Vault. Uh, so Typhon wallet has a whole bunch of different ways which you can go about your recovery phrase. In this case, we'll choose 12 words. What I'm gonna do is write this recovery phrase down and make sure I have it stored in a safe location. After we've written down our wallet recovery phrase, we're gonna be prompted to verify the seed phrase. Now, some of the words have been filled in for us. We just have to fill in the missing words. After we've filled in the missing words, we can go ahead and click on verify and unlock. The next screen that we're prompted with is to choose our wallet type. Now within Typhon Wallet, we have the ability to choose an HD wallet and a single address wallet. So for many of the different Cardano wallets, you're typically presented with multiple different receiving addresses. An HD wallet is going to be very similar to that. So it's the wallet type, which is supported by other Cardano wallets. And the other option is a single address wallet, which supports only a single address. So it's recommended if you don't have a whole lot of UTXOs to be sent to this wallet, you can go with a single address wallet. And the benefit is that it's a lot faster to use. However, if you are gonna be performing quite a few transactions using this wallet, it's recommended to go with the HD wallet. For this video today, I'm just gonna click on HD wallet and we can see now our main dashboard. 
So right off the bat, first thing I notice is the user interface is very clean. It's simple to look at, not too overwhelming, but there is quite a bit of things to take a look at here. So we're gonna quickly explore the main page and the user interface of the Typhon wallet. At the very top, we can see it gives us more information related to the blockchain epoch. Current epoch is 327, shows us the time remaining until the next epoch, gives us the price of ADA in USD, and it also gives us the market cap. On the right side, we can see account number one. If we click on it, we do have the ability to add multiple accounts within a single wallet. So this is very nice because you can have a single wallet seed phrase and you can have multiple accounts, which you would have the ability to delegate to different stake pools. So this is what you would refer to as multi-delegation. Uh, one thing that's really nice also is that if you do have different accounts where you wanted to keep track of it, you can actually type in a name to keep track of this wallet. So I'm just gonna type in test, and we can see here now account number one is classified as test. So we've got a name which we can add by clicking on the little edit icon. We'll also see the wallet balance below that, the reward balance, so we can see how much ADA we've earned by delegating to a stake pool. We're not currently staking any ADA to a pool, which we will do in this video today. I'm gonna to show you that process. We can copy our address to be able to receive some ADA. That is gonna be the next step in order to start delegating ADA to a stake pool and do things such as voting and sending transactions with metadata. So what I'm going to do is send some ADA to this wallet by copying my wallet public address. So I've sent a bit of ADA to this newly created wallet. We can see now that the balance has updated. It shows 15 ADA held within this wallet. And the recent transactions also is going to show the transaction ID, as well as the date and time which this transaction was completed. So I've got a little bit of ADA now to work with here. And if we were to say have any type of tokens, or let's say if we had some NFTs, NFTs and tokens are all going to be supported within the Typhon wallet will have the ability to send ADA and tokens. As far as sending goes, you would simply paste in a public address, enter in the amount of ADA, and select any tokens which you'd like to send to this wallet. One thing that's really cool about the Typhon wallet is that you can add metadata to a transaction straight from the user interface. So let's say, for instance, if I wanted to send a message along with the transaction, if I were to say, uh, label one, two, three, four, and then the value would be hello world. And we can add this to our transaction. So we would simply paste in the address, enter in the amount of ADA, and this metadata would be attached to this transaction. I really like how clear and easy to use that is. One of the coolest features about this wallet, I think, is adding metadata straight from the user interface. Next is the staking section of this wallet. So now that I've sent some ADA to this wallet, what we want to do now is start earning some passive rewards on our ADA. So it says we are not currently staking to a pool. Let's go ahead and click on start. And this is going to give us a list of all the different stake pools which we have available to delegate to. Now, in terms of how this is categorized, it's generated randomly, and we would just click on next to scroll through the different stake pool options. Now it's quite difficult to know what to look at using this user interface. So we can simply search for a stake pool by typing in the pool ticker. In this case, I'll just type in Kaizen and it gives us all the Kaizen crypto stake pools. So let's go ahead and delegate to a Kaizen stake pool. We'll delegate to Kobe stake pool and it's going to be a 0.17 ADA transaction fee as well as a two ADA deposit. The two ADA deposit is to register a staking address on the blockchain. So this is a one-time fee when you first delegate to a stake pool. That looks good to me. Let's go ahead and click on confirm and it's gonna ask us to enter in our password. After we've clicked on submit, it's saying that the transaction is submitted. Your delegation to Kobe pool has been successful. Now we can just go ahead and close out of that. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna wait for the blockchain to validate our transaction. While we're waiting for the network to process our transaction, we'll continue by clicking on assets. This is a preview of any tokens that you would hold within your wallet. So let's say if you held any fungible tokens 
or NFTs, you can simply click on either one of these options to get a preview of those tokens you hold within your wallet. If we click on address, this is going to generate a list of all the public addresses that we have available for this specific wallet. Now, if there is a wallet address that you have used already, you can toggle, show used, and then this is going to give you all the fresh addresses, which are brand new. You would simply just click on the copy to clipboard feature if you wanted to receive any assets. Next is voting. This is going to give us an overview of the voting registration for Project Catalyst. So Typhon has definitely done a great job of the user interface for getting up to speed with voting. So we've got the QR codes to download the Catalyst voting app for both Apple and Android. And then we've also got some information related to the minimum requirements to vote. So 500 ADA is the minimum required. And then you do need to delegate your ADA to register for voting. And we can see here our delegation has been successful. We'll just click on close and we see that little disclaimer has gone away. Very cool. So the information related to Catalyst, it gives us the current funding round. It gives us the time and date of the snapshot, when voting starts, when voting ends. And it gives us some useful links related to uh, idea scale. So you can view the different proposals. You can view the weekly town halls. So I really like the user interface for Typhon when it comes to voting in Project Catalyst. Now, lastly, let's go to contacts. And this is going to give us a list of any contacts that we would have for our specific wallet. So if we wanted to add a wallet, which we frequently send assets to, we can simply type in a name and a public address and then click on add. This is going to give us a contact within our contacts menu. And we can just simply quickly navigate to that address to send and receive assets. Going through several of the other unique features about this wallet, it does have a dark mode, which is amazing. So you've got a dark mode and a light mode. Light mode is a little bit much for my eyes, so I really do appreciate that dark mode much better. If we click on settings, this is going to give us a little bit more about being able to use this browser extension with dApps and different smart contracts. This is very important if you are going to be using this extension to interact with things like DEXs or NFT marketplaces. So in order to be able to do that, what we would need to do first is set collateral. This is very important. So after you have delegated your wallet to a stake pool, I would recommend that you set collateral in order to be able to use this wallet with different dApps. We'll click on manage. The default amount to set as collateral is five ADA. That's typically okay in order to be able to execute a smart contract using the wallet. We would simply just enter in the amount of collateral which we'd like to set, and then we click on add. Now this is going to generate a new transaction as well. So we'll see a small transaction fee associated with that. So five ADA, as well as a small transaction fee of 0.16 ADA. We'll just go ahead and click on confirm, and it's gonna ask us to type in our password. After we've typed in our password and clicked on submit, it's saying our transaction has been successfully submitted and we'll be notified when it's been confirmed. So let's go ahead and click on close. Managing collateral is very important, especially if you are using this browser extension to interact with things like DEXs, NFT marketplaces. So I would recommend that as the next step after delegating to a stake pool. We can also change the language if we so choose. The default is set as English, but you can change it to any of these options available. If you do have uh, any questions or need support, you can also click on their support option, which is going to redirect you to a frequently asked questions page. If you do have any type of uh, concerns or problems with the wallet, you can also submit a ticket to get a faster response from the team. So we'll close out of that for now. And that is going to be an overview of the Typhon wallet. It does move fairly quickly. As you guys can see, I'm doing all this in real time for you. And the time to be able to submit transactions to the chain using this wallet, it's relatively quick, uh, which is nice to see. So I was able to delegate my ADA to a pool. I was able to set collateral to be able to interact with different dApps and smart contracts. So Typhon wallet is a very, very nice user interface. Let's say, for instance, if I wanted to go through and do something uh, like multi-delegation, what does that actually look like? So let's go ahead and go to account two. Now, what we would need to do first in order to be able to delegate to another pool using the same wallet is I would have to send some ADA to this new account. So I would simply go through the process of copying the address. We would go back to our first account. 
we would send ADA and tokens and then paste in that public address. Now let's say for instance, I wanted to go ahead and send five ADA. Let's go ahead and add some metadata. Let's just uh, type in a label and we can say just an arbitrary number there. And just a short message for testing purposes, we can go ahead and click on add and send. Now the preview for the confirmation is also very well laid out. It shows us the address which we're sending the assets to, gives us the amount as well as the fees, and it gives us the metadata. So it gives us our tag as well as our text. And it shows us the total ADA to be spent. If we click on more details, this gives us a breakdown of the UTXOs for this specific transaction. So let's go ahead and click on confirm. It's gonna ask us to type in our spending password. After we've clicked on submit, we can see now it gives us the prompt, our transaction of five ADA has been successfully submitted. So let's go ahead and click on close. We can see here now that this transaction is pending. We'll need to go back to our second account. We'll wait for this ADA to be received within this wallet, and then we'll go through the process of delegating to a pool. So that is essentially the same thing that we went through the first time where we just click on stake and it shows us the minimum of five ADA is required to create a new staking account. So that's what we'll be able to do once this ADA has been deposited into this new account. You can go ahead and rename this, let's say delegation. You can do anything you like. And taking a look back at this first account, we can see the test shows that this wallet is pending. But as soon as this transaction is verified by the blockchain, we'll be able to see that five ADA show up in this new account, same seed phrase, but just a different account within the wallet, which would allow us to do things like multi-delegation. So everyone, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. Hope that you found some value. If you did, please be sure to drop a like for me before you head out today. If you do wanna stay up to date with more content like this, how-to videos, Cardano news, tutorials, all that, make sure you hit that subscribe and click that notification bell. All right, everyone, thank you so much again, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.